I've always got a minute for you, youngster Joe. I mean, what? Hey, everybody, it's Chicka Connor. Welcome back for more Pokemon Crystal. And there was nothing going on there. In the last part, we took on Janine of Fuchsia Gym, and we got ourselves a Tyrogue in Mount Mortar. In this part, we're going to be heading to Sevo Island to take on the former Cinnabar Gym Leader, Blaine! Uh, if you go here in the remake, you can go into the right side of the island, or the other side of the island, I mean. And there, you can fight Articuno there, the legendary Pokemon Articuno. Unfortunately, you cannot go in there in this version of the game, so... It's getting the shaft. Anyway, though, and here... Best gym ever! Or correction, it would be the best gym ever if it had its own champ in making, but no, there's no champ in making. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to him. Why? My gym and Cinnabar burned down! My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano! Why? But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave, where I'm gonna go bat crap crazy and just live on my own forever and ever! If you beat me, I'll give you a badge! Oh, you better have Burn Hill! Yes, he still has not given up that joke of, Oh, you better have Burn Hill! Alright, so Blaine here, he's only got three Pokemon, just like Sabrina. He starts off with a Macargo, level 45, Fire Rock type, with the moves Curse, Smog, Flamethrower, and Rock Slide. This thing can try to boost its stats with Curse, but honestly, if you have a Water type or a Ground type, this thing's going down in no time flat, because it has quad weaknesses to both of those, and it's very slow. As you will see right here, if it lives through this, I'm eating my shoe. Good, I don't have to eat my shoe. Alright. Alright, he's gonna go for Magmar! Magmar! This thing has Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Sunny Day, and Confuse Ray. Its main strategy is just laying down a Sunny Day for his last Pokemon. That's really all that this thing is here for. Uh, maybe to confuse you a little bit, though, but really this thing isn't all that threatening. Let's see. Yay! It didn't get to lay down a Sunny Day! Alright, last Pokemon already! It's a Rapidash, level 50, Fire Type, Quick Attack, Fire Spin, Fury Attack, Fire Blast. Aside from Fire Blast, this thing is no threat whatsoever. Blaine actually has a very disappointingly easy team. I really have to say that. He really didn't put much thought in it. Mean, seriously, Fury Attack for the 15th badge? I mean, jeez, come on, dude. We're not going for, like, the third badge anymore. This is 15, dude. On. At least live through this. Oh, and it doesn't even live through that. All three of his Pokemon go down in one hit. To my starter. And that's it. 15 badges. Awesome. I've burned out. You've earned the Volcano Badge. He's like Master Roshi meets Dr. Robotnik. And we get the Volcano Badge. Did lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. I'll rebuild my new Cinnabar Gym. We'll have a rematch. Five bucks says we don't. Yo! Huh, it's over already? Sorry, sorry. Cinnabar Gym was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. Jeez. Okay. Without his advice, he knew we'd win. How cute. Uh, anyway, though, um, we don't really have much else to do here in Kanto. We could go after the 8th badge right now, but I think what we'll do is we'll go after another legendary Pokemon. We just battled a Fire Gym leader, so I think you know which one we're going to be going after, all right, though, so... Random encounter jump cut. Chasing after Entei for, god, like 55 minutes now, and I finally get it to appear when it's in the same area as me. Anyway, I'm gonna have a Vagia Thunder Wave it now, so we can deal with it easier in later fights. And it's gonna just run away here. But that's fine, because we paralyzed it, and it's gonna stay paralyzed the next time we fight it, so we've already weakened it here. As you can see, I have it here in my Pokedex, and now it is actually not too far away. Uh, I'll cut ahead to when I find it again, I guess. Yeah! Jeez, I've been in the same areas for like 20 encounters, and it finally appears. 
it's not paralyzed anymore. What? What? How are you not paralyzed anymore? What gives? I mean, seriously! I, th ah, I guess it didn't carry over status conditions like it does in the later games. Well, screw you! Yeah! Found it a third time. Alright! Ah. Let's get to weakening this thing a little bit more. Yay, we only have to run into it like five more times. After this. Wow, I actually ran into it right after it. It was in the route below me right as soon as that was over, which is crazy to get that lucky. Anyway, we're going to Dragon Rage it one last time, and then I think we're going to be good to try to start catching it on the next encounter. WHAT?! YOU ARE NOT FASTER THAN ME! WHAT?! Okay. Found you... again. You're not going to be faster than me this time. No, no, no. You will not be. See? Told you! Haha, -ha. all right, I think we're gonna be good to start catching it next battle. All right, here we go. Next battle is mine! I swear it! Okay. You are mine! I'm being interrupted by myself. Okay, back for my root interruption. Okay, I swear it. I will use one Ultra Ball. My one Ultra Ball will catch this thing. The Let's Play Curse will not beat me today. One, two, three. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! The Let's Play Curse did destroy me! Oh! Oh! Okay. Entei, the Volcano Pokemon. This brawny Pokemon courses around the Earth spouting flame and magma. Okay, yes. We're not going to nickname it. Okay. And we have a call from Youngster Joey. How you doing? How you doing, Youngster? It's me, Joey. Got a minute. My Rattata's sharper than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in your... <laughs> After we catch Entei, he says that. Literally the second we catch Entei. Oh my god! Ah, uh, Joey, Joey, Joey. Alright, now that we've caught Ensei, we're gonna go ahead and head back to Kanto. There's something that we gotta do here real quick, now that we've caught all three of the legendary bi hamsters. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and head there, and apparently it's daytime now. I didn't realize it was that early in the morning when I was recording this. Well, not really early in the morning, not late, rather, because I've been up all night. But, that aside... Go ahead and just wait for this. We arrived in Saffron. We hope to see you again. Yeah, well, I probably won't ever see you again. Well, actually, yes, I will. Never mind. I'll see you two more times throughout the course of this Let's Play. But anyway, what we need to do is we need to go to Celadon, for there is something really important for us there. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Jump cut of about five seconds. We need to go to the Pokemon Center and check it out. It's Yusin! Hi, I'm back visiting my hometown. It's been quite a while. No wonder he's been in, no wonder he's from a place with a bunch of flower-loving freaks. Hey, have you heard? There's been a fresh rumors of a rainbow-colored Pokemon appearing at Tin Tower. I've just had my party healed, so I'm now heading to Ecruteak. I'll be seeing you, Emil. And we gotta go after him! Let's head to Ecruteak! How's that for a special effect? My bike rode back all the way around the world till it was an Ecruteak, because I was going that fast! Okay, not really. It's the power of editing magic! We can now go through here, that little bald jerk won't try to stop us. Yay! Here we go. Here we go, guys. Something amazing's gonna happen. Something amazing. Something amazing. I'm tired of waiting for it. Let's not press start. Let's press select and get on our bikes. So we don't have to wait for it. Alright, here we go. What do you gotta say? Ho oh, appears to have descended upon this tin tower. This will protect you. Take it. We got a rainbow wing. All right. We need the rainbow wing to make Ho appear here at the tower. Even though it's said to have already appeared. And that was freaky. I'm sorry. But just stairs plop down right beside me as soon as I pick up a feather. And it's like, now go. All right. I 
guess all that's left to do is climb to the top of this tower and see if Ho's really there. You ready for this? You really ready for this?